Mm. I am out here. Hi, you all. This is Sierra, Evelyn's daughter. Oh, my God, y'all. There are grapes up here. And when I tell y'all we going to eat these grapes, we going to eat these grapes, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these grapes that mom has. So, mom has had this grapevine for about... I may be wrong. I think she's had it for about maybe three years or so can y'all see those grapes oh y'all they are getting ripe they are maturing now last year the deers they had themselves a tree they took all the grapes practically off the vine and mom was so upset let's see have some down here so we're hoping that this year will be different but do y'all see these grapes that mom has? Wow. Uh, so they're growing. They're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. Um, it's mid-August. They're not ready yet. Have some in here. Got some grapes right there. There's just grapes all throughout, throughout this vine here. Let's see. Got a bushel right there. And you got some down here. It's a special solution. Y'all see those grapes down there? It's a special solution that mom has that she's going to use to keep those dairies away. Ooh, good. Here's some more right here. Ooh. -ooh. Try to can y'all see that? Try to get as much as I can. Have some over here as well. grapes right here and let's see. grapes in there okay y'all y'all take care okay you all i am out here at my grapevine picking some of these mustarding grapes um this is what they look like. And I'm just going down here, just picking some, getting the right ones. Some of the smaller ones have fallen on the ground, as you can see. A few of the right ones have fallen on the ground too. But this is more grapes than I've had on my grapevine at all. Going him just just picking them. I love these. I love the purple ones too, but I need to get a purple vine. Uh, I got this vine from. I get it from Walt. No, got it from Lowe's. Of course, some of them you see it falling on the ground. And uh, this vine just like anything else, you know. You all, you got to. Look, you got to look for them. Oh, they smell. They smell so good. You got to look for the grapes. They are so good. I love them. It's a little work in here just looking for them. The ones that are ripe. Mm-hmm. 
You got to know when they're right because when they're right, you, you don't have to take a lot of time trying to pull them off the vine. They practically fall off the vine. I got some down here. But as you can see, some of them fell on the ground too, you all. Those not really right. Just the color right there. So I'm just fishing through the vines, you know. Just getting the right ones. Yep. That is what I'm doing. Fishing through the vines. Okay, I'm going to finish fishing through the vines, getting these uh, grapes. And so I got some up here. Some of them are ready, and some of them are not. Just like I stated, you got to fish through the vine. Get the ones that are right. And they're like anything else, you had to have a little patience. But this is just a beginning of these uh of these grapes. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, you should not be eating them off the vine, you are. But they are good. I got a lot of them out here that are not ripe yet. And you just got to fish through here, but you know what? I still think deer has been over here. Like I said, I'm fishing through here, getting the ones that are ripe. I still got more that are not right that are on the vine. Just got to pick in between. Some here falling on the ground. Why? Well, I do know why, because like I said, I think them deer's been out here. I guess maybe they couldn't get enough that was right. She's got quite a few. They're not right as per se. Some in here, see that? Some in here that are ripe. I think it's one here. See how they just fall off the vine when they're ripe? I know they didn't just fall on the ground, you all. I know the deer has had something to do with it. Came out here messing with this grapevine. Quite a few that are not ready. Great all in here that are not ready. Not ready yet. How long, yeah. how long do you think it will take for the rest of the grapes to ripen? Probably about another week or so. Okay. Providing the um, deers don't come out here and eat them. Because mm -hmm. I got a lot of clusters up here. Mm -hmm. So you can see all these clusters? Oh, yeah. I got a lot of clusters up here to the to the top. So that's what I'm afraid of, that the deers going to come out here and... Uh, eat them up like they did last year. Right. 
-hmm. And even some of the right ones, they have might have something over there. Cluster down here. Yeah, even some of the right ones, they have. Oh, I gone see one right here. here. I'm gonna pick this one. Let me see. This one right here, y'all. And I'm not quite a bit off the vine. Take it in. Quite a look all look all the ones they knocked out the, on the ground. Yeah, that's what she mom's talking about, y'all. Y'all see that down there? You yeah, knocked a lot of them off the vine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep, they sure enough did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they maybe need another week or so. Quite a few of them. There's a cluster right here. Mm -hmm. I'm finding a lot more clusters than what I did last time, you all. Last time I chest, this one is a large cluster right here. Not ready yet, though. Oh, okay. Finding a lot more than what I did last time. Got all kinds of clusters. Mm -hmm. Those look good. I can't wait to do a test taste on those, on the grapes. I know yeah. it's going to be delicious. There's some here. Got some there. Mm hmm. Mm. And see it's here. Mm hmm Oh yeah, that one, yep. I see him. See that one. That one's ready. Mm -hmm. Just have to pick them. Yep. Gotta pick them, y'all. One see? tip. Must oh be. yeah. Oh, that looks good. What's one tip you'll tell people on how to take care of a grapevine? Oh, it takes care of itself. Just fertilize a little bit. Okay. And keep it water. Keep it water, okay. Look all these grapes they done knocked off. Yeah. See, look, look. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at all these they grapes. They got out here, not a lot of grapes off the vine, you all. Uh, yeah. Week, last week and week before last, mm -hmm. when I was gone, Yeah. they were out here playing. <laughs> See, the grapes be everywhere. See them? Let me put it down. Mm -hmm. See these grapes in between here? Oh, yeah. See, some of those are ripe. Yep, you they're ready. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the deers got out here, you all, and just went through a... Bean, I had no idea that that um, our deers eat bean, mm -hmm. beans and bean stalks. Yeah. Got through here. Pick some of these. Okay. Ate all my stuff up. It looks good. Looks so delicious. Not my grapes off the vine. Trying to eat them, I guess. Maybe they didn't taste too good to them. Because <laughs> they wasn't right, was they? It was really, really bitter then. Yeah. So my thing is, I'm afraid that they're gonna come. All these big clus clusters out here. Mm-hmm. They're gonna enjoy come. Themselves. Need the cluster of grapes off. Mm-hmm. Before they ripen, where they, if they don't eat them, they're gonna knock them off. Yeah. Before they ripen, and, mm -hmm. and once they ripen, they might get them before I can get them. Yeah. Or the ones that we do have. Searching this vine. Look really good. Full grapes. Doing a great not job. Take, not really take your time up. <laughs> see the vine? See how oh, they yeah. grow? Just mm -hmm. like they little clusters. Cluster there, cluster there. Mm -hmm. yep. Clusters you all. A lot of them. I, there, I, there's a lot more clusters um, than what I recorded the first time. Mm -hmm. A lot more. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like I said, you know, they, they knocked a lot of them on the ground. Look at all those. Look at those here. Oh yeah, you talk about the ones they knocked on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cluster right there. The bottom. Right the here. grapes are not hard to grow. They're not hard to grow. Mm -mm. They, they, like I said, they take, they take, take care, care of themselves. themselves. Just yeah. Just keep them water. Okay, y'all. Well, it was Mama harvesting a little bit of her her grapes. You know, I will be coming out here probably every day. Okay. Trying, trying to get more and more grapes. Yeah. Because it, believe it or not, it's a lot of them out here. It is. They're just not ripe yet. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of them. They just not. They just won't ripe. That one there is green. Oh yeah. A little bit more time. A little bit more time. 
Write them up. And don't try to pull them off the vine. You all say, oh, I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take these in the house and let them ripen up. It doesn't work like that. These muscadine mm -hmm. grapes, they have to ripen on the vine. You all, you can't take them, pick them. You can't. You cannot pick these grapes green and think they're gonna. You're gonna take them in the house and they're gonna ripen. Mm -hmm. it don't work that way. They're gonna shrivel up and not ripen at all. Right. So unfortunately, you have to leave them on the vine and let them ripen on the vine. Mm -hmm. I hope. Well, I got some there. Hope that the animals, the deer, don't come and get them all. That's all you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me finish searching these grapes out. Okay. And I'll talk with you later. Look at all these and fill. Then knock off the vine. Okay. And I will talk with you later. Okay, you all. These are some of the grapes that are ripe. Of course, I know the deer's been out here in the garden. Quite a few of the ripe grapes are on the ground. There are still a, quite a bit that are on the vines that are not ripe yet. Quite a few clusters. They are clusters. Hopefully the hopefully the deers won't get to them before they ripen up. And mess with them. Well, hopefully they won't get to them again. Because they knocked a lot of them off the vine. And we got some down here on the bottom down here. That are not, like I said, that are not right down here. See those down here? Mm -hmm. It's not right there, unfortunately. So, okay, you all. Grace, we're gonna be enjoying. Hello, everybody. I am back. I am back with Sierra. Hey, y'all. We are going to be, let her taste some of these, what? Muscadine grapes. Muscadine. Muscadine grapes. grapes. She can say it better than I can. <laughs> uh, of course, you all. I have also. I have a grapevine. Yeah. Yeah. And this year, it has produced a lot of grapes. It has. Problem I'm really having though, year. right, is that a lot of the grapes have fallen off the vine, and mm -hmm. I think it was due to the deers, of course. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I still have quite a few on the vine. So any clusters and they're getting ripe little by little. Yeah. So we are going to let you enjoy some of these grapes with us. Y'all get some. Y'all get some grapes. <laughs> there you go. We wanted to share. So I'm let's see her go ahead and okay, I'm gonna stick get her one. hands in. And then I'll say prayer after we get one. Mm-hmm. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to come together again. We're praying that this food will not harm us in any kind of way and will be nourishment to our bodies. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, good and sweet. That's now, good. I like the the skin, the hug or whatever. Mm -hmm. mm. Some people like to, I say, get the little grape, juicy grape stuff out. Okay. Let's spit them out. I don't. Mm. Are these, do these Remember, have seeds in them? They got a little seeds in them. Yeah, they have little seeds in them, but I like mm -hmm. them. Remember, they are a good source of fiber. Mm. I can't even lie, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of muscadine grapes, but these are good. They are really, really good. Oh, my God. I didn't know they were going to be as... Um, so sweet. Good and sweet, you all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They are. I love them. I like to give me some great ones, mm -hmm. too. These are the white kind. These are white. Mm-hmm. And you know, the grapes are one of the, the great kind is one that look purple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like to give me some of those. Okay. Get me a vine, purple vine. And just imagine, like, mm -hmm. this came from 
this is homegrown y'all so whatever area you're in it does depend on the region um you know that you're living in but it's definitely possible to grow these uh, muscadine grapes mm-hmm mm. and i can i think i got this little vine from lowe's yeah, and it was lowe's. one that they had marked down that was about to die mm -hmm. you all you might have heard me say if I get any kind of vegetable plant or something like that, but mainly I grow all of my stuff from seeds. Yeah. Then I get the stuff that's on clearance that people think is dead. Mm -hmm. You all long there's a root to it. If there's a Still root, living. it's not dead. Mm -hmm. You can bring it back to life. Yep. Long as the root system is good. Mm-hmm. I see why the deer is helping themselves to these grapes. Last year, mm -hmm. I was so upset last year. There were no grapes on the tree. Like they got them all them. last year. Mm -hmm. They didn't leave really none. No grapes. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm-hmm. It's it's just it's it's muscadine grapes. They have a they have a distinct taste. They, mm -hmm. Kind of like a like a must, then like a a, <coughs> a sour, then a sweet, then kind of like a spicy. Like it's 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 different. It's a different type of grape. They are so expensive in the store. They are very expensive. Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing? Hmm? Why are you laughing? You saying it's got like a must. It does. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna lie, it does. That's why I'm not a, a fan of them, but I like these. Mm -hmm. What grapes I usually get mine? What those um the green grapes. Yeah, I like I like the more the sour grapes. Ooh. I was about to say, most of the time they are sour. Yeah, I like the sour grapes. And I'm not a fan of them. Uh uh, he don't like those. Mm -hmm. These grapes you all very expensive in the store. Mm -hmm. I can imagine how expensive they're going to be now. Girl, I know. Oh, my God. I never thought... Because, mm -hmm. I mean, what you got? You got this mustard down tree, uh, excuse me, vine a while ago. And I was like, are we going to ever get any... Mm -hmm. Excuse me, not muscadine. Muscadine. Um, grapevine a, long, a, a while ago and I was like are we going to ever eat any grapes and it's just it's hard to believe that now we're just enjoying the fruits you know enjoy the fruits of your labor and mm -hmm. we're enjoying these grapes we had to beat the deers to it this year we beat them we beat y'all we beat y'all this year deers mm -hmm. now was it last year did the tree produce did the vine produce last year or was it the year before last it was last year yeah the apple tree and the pear tree didn't produce last year. Oh, yeah. They're, um, so we were looking forward to eating some grapes because they were, I mean, them grapes were great. And I was waiting. I said, you know what? I'm getting ready. Just going out there and harvest those grapes. And boy, when I went out there, they were gone. Just like my purple beans that you might see that I showed mm -hmm. them. They were good too. Mm -hmm. Purple beans, they went out there and ate all the grapes up. Mom was like, and I didn't know deers like grapes. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this year we've seen they like pears. Mm-hmm. Tan some pears up too. Mm-mm. -mm. Big old bite holes in the pears. And apples. Yep, and apples. Yeah, when they went out there, mm -hmm. they ate my beans up. They tore them up. I went to Washington DC. Mm -hmm. They ate the bean, the vines, the beans itself. Mm-hmm. Yep. Came back. Look like you're just taking some 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 cutters and just cut all the leaves off the stalk. It was unreal. Not a bean in sight. Not a bean in sight, y'all. You would think maybe it was hey, a few beans on the, left on the ground. Yeah. They ate all the beans. It all was of shot. the beans. It was none. No stem. Nothing's coming from. It was gone. Ate all of the beans. Mm-hmm. I know. I ain't know what to think about That's that. That's why I had such a. It's almost as if somebody just pulled it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right root mm -hmm. mm. That's why I had such a small little um, serving of the purple beans. Right. Mm -hmm. Take them off. Mm -hmm. 
You are waiting for them to get a little bit bigger the uh, last few ones that you mm-hmm. had. Mm-hmm. I was waiting. Mm-hmm. They don't. <clears throat> they had other plans. Mm-hmm. That did not include me. Mm-hmm. But get you some of these grapes, you all. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling what you think of them. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm making <clears throat> as much eye contact with them about these grapes. They good. <laughs> and the thing about them, see, if you get your vine, mm-hmm. now, you probably have that vine at least about two years before it really started producing. Right. If you mm-hmm. take care of it, two years. Mm-hmm. You got to keep it lightly fertilized and stuff you all and, right and treat it right treat it with mm-hmm. some love put some love out there on it mm-hmm. then it'll start producing for you mm-hmm. yeah. <clears throat> definitely gotta show it love y'all because it, it don't happen overnight you don't get grapes overnight <laughs> so the the goal is to go out there tomorrow and see if some of those that were not Ripe or ripe now. Okay. Hopefully, deers have not been out there. We have to find something to keep them away. Mm-hmm. Because when I had my sweet potatoes, I used that um, Irish Spring soap, you all. Mm-hmm. Put the soap all around my um, um, garden vines. Bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my garden bed. Mm-hmm. Vine. And also, it was another solution that I mixed up that sprayed on them. Yep. What was that? It was like an egg solution. And I think it had, I don't what know what it Yeah, baking powder, baking soda. One of them in it. Baking powder. Baking powder, baking soda. A little water. water. A liter of water. It works, you all. It does. Did you see those sweet potatoes that you see me holding in my hands like that? <laughs> they were not able to get out there and eat the vines. Mm-mm. But they went in the garden, and I had sweet potatoes in the garden. And they ate those. They ate all my sweet potatoes out of the garden. Mm-hmm. But you see, they did not eat the sweet potatoes out of my uh, um, all of my uh, elevated garden bed. Mm-hmm. But the ground garden, they went out there and ate ate every, all the vines off. They did, y'all. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. got a few little seeds. Mm-hmm. So that tells me it works. It does. Mm-hmm. It's been good. Mm-hmm. It's sweet and it's tart, everything. Mm-hmm. Y'all get y'all muscadine grapevine if y'all able to and um just watch it grow and watch it produce. Be mm-hmm. proud of your work, take care of it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you are a garden. Mm. It's something you have to have it's something you have to have a passion for. You have to. You have to have a passion for gardening. And when you say it's like it's trial and error, mm-hmm. it's trial and error. Trial but I will say too, like mama's been gardening since she was a child. Because she, she grew up as a sharecropper. So mm-hmm. um, the things that it just, if you're a new gardener, you're, you're going to have to do go through trial and error. It may take, you know, some years to get there, but you'll get there. Like I told you before, you all, you don't need all this fancy soil and all that stuff, all mm-hmm. these additives and stuff that add to your soil mm-hmm. in order to grow things. Myself, when I started my gardens off, <laughs> I did not have money to buy all that expensive stuff. No, she didn't. But also growing up the way I did and working on the farm and stuff, mm-hmm. I knew you didn't need all of that either. Right. Knew there was other ways of you know of enriching your soil and stuff mm-hmm. that you won't have to buy all these things, right? Which you don't know whether they're good for you or not. Mm-hmm. That's true. The less you put out in your soil, the better. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because see, you got to remember that whatever you grow in that soil, when you add all that stuff to that soil, is also going to be in your vegetables and fruits and all that. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, don't let that stop you by saying, well, I don't have the money to get the supplies to, to do a garden. You have a, you have the money. Mm-hmm. You don't need that much. You do not need that much. Mm-mm. Just try it. Start mm-hmm. off small. Yeah. Like I said, wonderful thing, just like I say you all, I know you probably say she keep pushing that, is that elevated garden bed. Mm-hmm. 
for the ones that don't have a garden, for the one that lives in an apartment, yeah. have a patio, elevated garden bed. Mm hmm Yep. So I growing you some. I know now you can grow sweet potatoes out there. Yep. Probably even tomatoes. Probably certain beans. Yep. Uh, I really think you can grow a uh, squash. Mm. And if something else I was gonna grow out there, but mm, I can say what it was. Yeah. But also too, you all, you can also. I won't give it away. I'll do it next year. I'll let okay. you see what I'm talking about. I was gonna tell you something that. I was going to do because there's quite a few things you can grow up there in that garden bed. And of course, you know, I have strawberries in mm -hmm. one too. Yeah. And I have my, delicious. and I have some flowers in it in, yep. in another one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. The tulips. Well, we have enjoyed these. We have. They I didn't want to eat the last grape. <laughs> no, sure. It's already. And, and see, so you're and eating the last grape, you all. Yeah. No more. Okay. But mm -hmm. they were so delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. mm. I would say if you like this segment and if we got other little segments coming up, you all, please comment, like, and subscribe to my mm -hmm. YouTube channel, Evelyn H. Vaughn. Mm -hmm. And also, too, uh, like I said, if you're starting a garden and you want to know all what you need, just look at some of my garden videos, mm -hmm. you all. They're very simple. They're plain. But they, they will help you get started. Yes. You can do start gardening for practically nothing. Mm -hmm. So please check those videos out. Yep, they will be real, real helpful to you. Yep, very, real helpful. If you want to start growing, you know, your own produce and stuff. Yep, and you can also, you know, put it in the freezer, can it, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, can I used to can a lot years ago. She did, but like, uh, when the girls got apples. older, you know. I had apples and I would have uh, cucumbers and oh yeah tomatoes and I never can any squash. Squash is something you have to like eat because when you're trying to freeze it, it's just not the same. Mama fixed some apples and stuff. Mama fixed some some homemade um, dill pickles. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it, from the dill from the garden, y'all, it was good. She yeah, fixed it a couple so weeks good. ago. Well, what about a month ago? It was delicious. Mm -hmm. I fixed it from some, like she said, from the dill from my garden, mm -hmm. you all. Because I have herbs out there too. I got yeah. dills, and right now I got to pick that rosemary mm -hmm. uh, and and lay it out to dry. And we yep. also used some rosemary and made some delicious. Rosemary chicken. Yes. Oh, that it was It was good. delicious. Yes. Yes. Very good. And, you know, I got spearmint. You all make you some spear spearmint tea. Mm -hmm. And then they see you make your chamomile tea. You see me make my, oh, my God, that chamomile good. tea is so good. <laughs> it is, y'all. After you taste the real thing, mm -hmm. you want to kick rocks at that stuff in the store. Mm -hmm. That fresh chamomile is so delicious, yeah, you all. You can so tell. delicious. Remind me. I'm going to give me a cup tonight because I think I'm going to need it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. She worked hard today, y'all. She did over. Last night. Last night. Mm -hmm. And then, then she did over um six miles a day walking. Walking. Mm -hmm. In the park. So. Yes. Mm hmm So we're going to let you all go. Mm hmm Until next time. Bye. See y'all. Bye-bye.